dear friends welcome back to the lecture number 2 in the steam nozzle the topic for the discussion velocity of the steam leaving the nozzle nozzle efficiency and nozzle velocity coefficient the learning outcome of this lecture at the end of the lecture the student will be able to calculate the exit velocity of the steam in the nozzle define nozzle efficiency and define nozzle velocity coefficient so we consider the nozzle the entry section it is represented by 1 and the exit section is 2 and the steam is flowing from thermodynamics the steady flow energy equation for one dimensional flow we already studied it in thermodynamics we we have derived the steady flow energy equation the steady flow energy equation is g z1 plus v1 square by 2 plus h1 plus q equal to g z2 plus v2 square by 2 plus h2 plus w where z1 z2 are the height of the inlet and the entry section from the datum v1 v2 are the velocity at the entry and the exit h1 h2 they are the enthalpy of the steam at the entry and the exit q is the heat transfer across the nozzle and w is the work done we assume isentropic flow in the nozzle initially we assume isentropic flow in the nozzle for isentropic flow we have to insulate the steam nozzle so the steam nozzle is insulated when there is not when the nozzle is insulated there is no heat transfer so q equal to 0 and uh, the steam is flowing just to flowing in the nozzle the purpose of the steam nozzle is to increase the kinetic energy by decreasing the enthalpy as we defined earlier and as the steam flows through the nozzle there is no work done there is only change in the properties of the steam so there is no work transfer across the nozzle from inlet and the exit of the nozzle so w equal to 0 and we assume the nozzle is horizontal so z1 equal to z2 so substituting the three conditions in the equation so the steady flow energy equation for the nozzle is v1 square by 2 plus h1 equal to v2 square by 2 plus h2 so rearranging the terms the velocity of the steam leaving the nozzle v2 equal to square root of 2 into h1 minus h2 plus v1 square so here h1 is the specific enthalpy of the steam at inlet in joules per kilogram h2 is a specific enthalpy of steam at exit in joules per kilogram and v1 is the velocity of the steam at inlet in meters per second so we have to substitute in joules per kilogram that we have to be very careful normally the property in the specific enthalpy is available in the steam table in kilo joules per kilogram so we have to multiply by 1000 so considering the exit velocity of the steam in the nozzle the inlet velocity v1 is very very minimum so v1 is very much lower than v2 so we ignore neglect the v1 value in the equation unless it is given when the v1 value is given in the problem you consider the v1 value otherwise we can simply ignore neglect the v1 value so velocity exit velocity becomes square root of 2 into h1 minus h2 this is the exit velocity in meters per second and uh, we assumed the isentropic flow the earlier derivation we assumed the isentropic flow for isentropic flow the flow is reversible adiabatic so adiabatic flow we can achieve by insulating the nozzle we can we can avoid the heat transfer between the surrounding and the uh, nozzle so we can achieve adiabatic flow by insulating the nozzle but the reversible process reversible is very difficult it is not possible to achieve the reversibility of a process because there are losses in the nozzle there are two types of losses one is frictional losses and the loss due to the shock so frictional losses again there are two types of friction surface friction and the fluid friction so when the steam is flowing through the nozzle so the steam it is in touch with the internal surface of the nozzle so there is a surface friction friction between the internal surface and the fluid steam that is the surface friction 
and the fluid is flowing in layers. We assume this fluid is flowing in layers. So, there is fluid friction between the layers of the steam. So, and the last due to the shock, the shock wave occurs in the supersonic flow. So, particularly when the convergent divergent nozzle in the diverging portion when the flow is supersonic, when the Mach number is greater than 1, there is a possibility of shock wave. So, among the uh, different types of loss in the, no in the nozzle, the major loss is the, the friction between, the surface friction between the steam and the surface. So, what are the effect of the nozzle, effect of the friction in the nozzle? It increases the enthalpy and the entropy of the steam. So, because of the friction, the heat is generated, the heat is absorbed by the uh, steam. So, the enthalpy and the entropy at the exit, they are increasing. There is decrease in velocity. Because of increase in the enthalpy, there is decrease in velocity of the steam exit at the exit. The increase in dryness fraction of the steam and the increase in specific volume of the steam. So, the properties are changing. And uh, the efficiency, the expansion of the steam, it is shown here in the enthalpy entropy diagram. So, 1 to 2 is the isentropic expansion and 1 to 2 is the actual expansion. So, for isentropic expansion, S1 equal to S2 actual expansion with the frictional losses. So, the isentropic enthalpy drop in the nozzle delta H S equal to H1 minus H2 and the actual enthalpy drop in the nozzle delta H A equal to H1 minus H2 dash. Now, we define the nozzle efficiency. Nozzle efficiency is defined as eta n equal to actual enthalpy drop divided by the isentropic enthalpy drop. So, eta n equal to delta H A divided by delta H S equal to H1 minus H2 dash divided by H1 minus H2. When you consider the frictional losses in the nozzle, we have to include the nozzle efficiency term in the calculation of actual velocity of the steam. So, actual velocity of this actual velocity at exit of the nozzle V2 dash equal to square root of 2 into H1 minus H2 into nozzle efficiency. And we define another parameter coefficient of velocity of the nozzle is defined as the ratio of actual velocity of the steam to the isentropic velocity of the steam at exit. So, V n equal to V a by V s which is actual velocity of the steam divided by the isentropic velocity of the stream. So, we stop here to understand our observation. You are requested to answer to this question. The nozzle efficiency is the ratio of, there are four options given. You take a moment and read the option and identify the correct answer. So, if your answer is option B, nozzle efficiency is ratio of actual enthalpy drop to the isentropic enthalpy drop and you are correct. We take another question. In a steam nozzle, frictional losses are dash in the convergent portion than the divergent portion. So, more or less. So, what is to be filled in the dash? So, there are in a convergent Convergent divergent nozzle, the convergent portion is very small comparing with the divergent portion. So, the frictional losses are less in the convergent portion than the divergent portion. The coefficient of velocity of nozzle is the ratio of, again, there are four options given. Read the four options and identify the correct answer. So, if you are able to identify D is the correct answer, you are correct. So, actual velocity, coefficient of velocity of the nozzle is the ratio of actual velocity to the isentropic velocity at the exit. The specific enthalpy of the steam at the entry and exit of the nozzle are 2780 kilojoules per kilogram and 2400 kilojoules per kilogram. The velocity of the steam at the exit. So, you take your calculator, use the equation, velocity V2 equal to square root of 2 times of H1 minus H2, substitute the values and calculate. So, if you are able to calculate and identify the correct answer, the actual velocity of the steam, 2000 into H1 minus H2, 2000 into 2780 minus 2400, it is 871.78. So, the correct answer is 871.78 meters per second. 
there is another question the specific enthalpy of this steam at the entry and the exit of the nozzle are 2780 kilojoules per kilogram and 2500 kilojoules per kilogram the nozzle efficiency is 0.95 so velocity of the steam at the exit now velocity nozzle efficiency is given and you take the equation so velocity equal to square root of 2 into h1 minus h2 into nozzle efficiency you substitute the values and calculate so if you are able to calculate the v2 dash equal to 729.38 the correct answer is 729.38 meters per second so we stop here we thank you for the thank you for watching the video lecture please post your comments on the comments box so if you have any queries on the subject you can contact me i will sincerely answer to your question so thank you we'll meet again in another video lecture in the steam nozzle until then bye